गेट 2020 मेटलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग क्वेश्चन 47 फॉर अफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन इन अ बॉल मिल इट इज डिजायर्ड दैट द बॉल्स ट्रेवलिंग अलोंग द मिल लीव द वॉल एट पॉइंट सी एंड ट्रेवल फ्रीली इन एयर अलोंग पाथ सी डी एज शॉन इन द फिगर इफ एंगल बी ओ सी इज वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री The rotational speed of the mill is by performing suitable force balance at point C. So the assumptions that we have to make: there is no slip between the ball and mill wheel. There is no slip between the ball and the mill wall. O is the rotational axis of the mill. OB is parallel to vector G. Inner diameter of the ball mill is 3.26 meter. Acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. So, to find the RPM of the ball mill, we need to do the force balance at point C. okay so we will draw a free body diagram of all the forces representing all the forces at point c so here is your point c okay this is your point o so what are the different forces that are acting at point c one is the weight force of the ball which is acting in vertically downward direction so different forces that are acting at point c one is the weight of the ball acting in the downward direction vertical downward direction and other is the centrifugal force which is acting in the radially outward direction and centrifugal force is given by mv square by r right now in order to do the uh, force balance at point c i need to know what the, this angle is what is the value of this theta since it is given this angle is 120 degree so if you draw a horizontal if you draw a horizontal so this will be 90 degree so remaining is 30 degree this is 90 so sum of internal angles is 180 so this theta will become equal to 60 degree so doing the force balance the two forces should be equal that is the centrifugal force that is acting in the radial outward direction and the component of weight acting in the radial direction that is nothing but mg cos theta where theta is 60 degree okay the another component of weight that is acting is mg sin theta okay but we are interested in mg cos theta because it is in line with the centrifugal force so they both should be equal so doing the force balance doing the force balance mv square by r must be equal to mg cos 60 degree okay so m will take m from here we can calculate the velocity velocity will be g into r cos theta is 0.5 and since it is v square so it will be under root g r 0.5 okay what is r r is the radius since the diameter is 3.26 
diameter is 3.26 so it will be 3.26 divided by 2 that is the radius into g into 0 0.5 under root okay meter per second now we need to find the rotational speed in terms of rpm okay so the rotational speed and translation speed have this relation v is r omega where omega is rotational speed and omega can be written as 2 pi n by 60 okay where n is in rpm rotations per minute fine so upon putting the values from this equation we can find the value of n so let's find the value of n so n will be n will be n will be v into 60 upon 2 pi r okay now what is v v can be calculated from this expression and it has been found that it upon solving we will get 7.9 eight seven meter per second so we will use this value into 60 upon 2 into pi into r what is r r is 3.26 by 2 okay so upon solving this we will get the value of n to be 16.52 rpm so to know more about the force balance and the concept of force balance you can refer lecture 5 engineering mechanics by professor k ramesh department of applied mechanics iit madras